Hey guys, I know this is a very basic high school chemistry demonstration, but since I've never seen it with my own eyes and I have my vacuum pump out and ready, um, I figured I would boil some water at room temperature. So let's have a look. Turning on the pump now. We're at five p about four psi now, three psi. About two psi. Oh, we got some bubbles forming. I'm disappointed. I thought it would be more exciting than this. Well, the bubbles are getting bigger. I just, I guess, have to give the pump some more time to pull out the atmosphere a little more. Okay, it's been about five minutes now, so I'm just going to cut it off there. But nonetheless, I did get it to boil. I did see the boiling water. Something really cool just happened. I, I didn't catch it on video, so let me do it again here. I cut, I, uh, open up the hose to release the pressure and all of the then the water really started to boil some of the water actually went over inside the uh, the vacuum gauge so let's see if I can get it to boil again and I'll cut the hose and and I'll repeat what happened last time okay it's just about boiling now I'm gonna cut the hose look at that I don't know what happened there, but it was pretty cool. I'm going to do it in high speed video this time. We can get a better look at what happened. Now that was cool. After reviewing the footage, it was quite clear that there was a sudden jet of air when as soon as I cut the hose, the air just squirted down here and pushed down on the center of the water and made it come up the sides. And um, what's really interesting is that I think that if there was air in here in the first place, then I squirted more air and there the explosion inside wouldn't be nearly as violent as it was. But since it was already a vacuum in here, then the incoming air had nothing to impede its flow so it just exploded down onto the water and even made some of it go all the way uh, over here into the vacuum gauge so i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did thanks for watching